Hello, hi, YouTube, Zach here. Uh, this video is one of our series on hyponatremia, and if you haven't seen the intro video yet, it might not make much sense. So uh, why don't you hit that button and check it out first? Or don't, whatever, you're cool, free country. Ah, the diagnostic quandary. You confirmed a true hyponatremia with high urine osmolality. The patient's neither dehydrated nor edematous, and the pituitary screen is negative. We've arrived at SIADH the syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. Inappropriate ADH secretion can be triggered by a number of things, notably pneumonias and lung cancers. Aquaporins go into overdrive, excessively concentrating the urine even when the blood is dilute. You do occasionally see a higher urine sodium level in these patients as aldosterone falls secondary to volume overload. The treatment for these patients is fluid restriction, but and this is your take home message, it's vital to exclude hypoaldosteronism first. Fluid should be restricted to about 1.5 litres per day, avoiding too rapid a correction of the hyponatremia as this can cause an osmotic imbalance that can lead to brain damage, a condition known as central pontine myelinolysis. But we're not going to get into that today. Anyway, that's a full lid. Any questions, hit us back in the comments and, as always, Carpe so diem. It's good. I <laughs>